Hello guys, today we got a Bushnell Falcon Insta Focus 10 by 50 millimeter binoculars. These are all purpose binocular. We're just gonna go quickly through the unboxing, have a look what it got and compare them to the older model of exactly the same binoculars. So let's go ahead and check out this box right here. It's a little bit too flimsy I find. They could have used a more rigid box just to protect the product a little bit better. As you can see, it's all kind of like flimsy. But anyway, the binoculars we got, they were all right, there was no damage, but I would prefer some more rigid cardboard because it's an optical device and it might break during shipping. Here's some specs of these binoculars right on the box here. As I mentioned, it is a 10 times magnification. It's got a 50 millimeter objective lens, so it will allow sufficient amount of light through the lens. So you can use it in the dark and you can use it for watching stars at night. I already had a pair of these binoculars before of the older version and they work really good for watching the night star and you can actually see a lot at the very little light. The field of view for these binoculars is 300 feet at 1000 yards. So it does have a pretty good range of view. Unlike the other binoculars that I have reviewed previously, those were the 20 by 50 with a 20 times zoom and those have much narrow field of view so you really need to know where you're looking otherwise it actually makes it hard to find the object that you're looking for. So the lenses are coated, this is another good thing and the binoculars are pretty light. It's only 27 ounces or 765 grams so you definitely don't get tired holding the binoculars, they're pretty light. But the main reason why I would suggest getting one of these binoculars is actually the InstaFocus. And InstaFocus is something that I really like and I already have two pairs of these binoculars because it lets you focus on an object really quick and you don't have to spend time trying to focus using the focus wheel. All right, enough looking at the box. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it's got inside. All right, for that we're going to need a knife. So it's all wrapped up in the plastic bag. To protect it from any water damage and as you can see there is a little thin cardboard still around the binocular to kind of protect it from wrecking during the shipping but honestly it is also flimsy so i don't think it will really protect it if uh, let's say you drop it or if something get dropped on it all right let's go ahead and pull it out of this bag and the first thing that i noticed the bag for the binoculars is a lot flimsier than before as you can see, this is the bag that I used to have for my previous binoculars. And this is probably from like 30 years old binocular, but it's exactly the same model. It hasn't changed for a long time, but you can see how much they have chipped out on the accessories for the bag. This binocular bag is a rigid leather bag. And look at this new one. Like it's, it's crooked already. Like I haven't even used it yet, but it's already looking like it's just a fabric bag. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna protect binoculars from anything maybe from scratching but that's about it so you can see how much it changed over time i'm not sure how old the other binoculars are but you can see that they're almost identical there is a little bit of wear on them but but it really looks exactly the same so this is probably due to that protective bag that kept it nice and new so let's have a closer look at it as you can see it is 10 by 50 300 feet at 1000 yards the field is 5.8 degrees i find that it is enough for searching an object and it's pretty easy to find an object with this field of view. You can see there are protective caps on the lenses to protect it from dust and scratching. There is a little strap attached to it for the binocular. Here's your InstaFocus wheel. And this is what I like about these binoculars because it does allow for really good and quick focusing. The lenses are coated and they have the rubber edges that you can actually fold and you can use these binoculars with your glasses. So if you're wearing glasses and you wanna get a binoculars that you can use with the glasses without taking them off these binoculars would work and this is another cool feature about it and you can also use this wheel on one of the binocular to adjust for your glasses if you don't want to use it with your glasses this will allow you to see perfect without having to use your glasses okay so let's quickly recap all the pros of these binoculars or at least the things that i want to highlight the first thing is it's insta focus which allows you for a quick focusing then 50 millimeter lens allows a lot of light so you can use it in the dark. It's also glasses friendly if you're wearing glasses and it's nice and lightweight. So yeah, this is it guys. This was just a quick unboxing review for you guys. I didn't want to make it too long, but I just wanted to share with you another unboxing video. If you like it, please give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting reviews and unboxing videos. And if you want to check out the other video for same Bushnell binoculars insta focus but 20 by 50 with a 20 times magnification you can check it out in the upper right corner or i'm gonna put a link in the description as well so yeah this is it for today i hope you have a nice day see you soon bye bye